All right, so here's the very much anticipated part two to me judging you based on your favorite Marvel show. Also, I covered most of the big and most important shows back in part one, um, so there's a good chance that your show is in that one. If you're a what if person, I don't know what to make of you. It's, it's not like you're bad. I just feel like you're being unique for the sake of being unique. Because what if is just like a series of one shots. So I'm guessing you like one shots a lot because I can't really think of what else might draw you to the show other than like maybe the animation. If you're an I am Groot sort of person, same thing with the what if, um, except you're just a really big fan of Groot. You love Groot. That's all, but um, maybe some people feel like you take your liking of it way too seriously, but still, stand Groot for clear skin. If Punisher is your favorite show, I don't think you're watching it for plot. I think you're realistically watching it for the acting. Like, the plot is eh in that show, but like, the acting is really great. Also, I feel like if you're a fan of the show, you're on either one side of the political spectrum, and I... yeah. If you're a Luke Cage sort of person, I think, I think you're pretty cool. I don't know what exactly you're watching it for, but I like you. I think you're cool. I feel like we could talk. I am willing to bet that none of you really liked his ending, though, because even though it may be comic accurate, it doesn't really make sense for the character in the show. Iron Fist. You don't exist. If The Gifted is your favorite show, you are an X-Men stan. You're also a big Maximoff stan um, in the way that you think that they should all come together and just wreck shit because, you know, they're awesome. Okay, if Runaways or Cloak and Dagger is your favorite Marvel show, I feel like you are the midpoint. You are the middle ground. I feel like you're just kind of like a really good person. You're like that person everyone can talk to. You're like friends with everyone, but no one actually really notices you yourself. Which sucks. You guys are really underrated. In humans, again, you, you don't exist. You only watched it because you're a big fan of the Inhuman storyline of AOS in season three. That is the only reason you watched it, and AOS did it considerably better. The 90s X-Men series, you're a millennial. Not like that's a bad thing, you're just a millennial. So, I don't know, take that as you will. I think I covered like all of them in this one, but I don't know, feel free to tell me that I'm wrong.